exercise for Alexis um, is working on um, half kneeling and then getting up into a, a partial stand, so kind of in this like a long lunge position. Um, and what this is working on is getting some good like dissociation. Um, so the front leg is forward while the um, upper leg is behind her, getting some of that separation as she comes up to stand. Um, ideally, I like to look to see her get some hip extension through um, the back leg as she tends to pull um, pull into hip flexion rather quickly. Um, so that's that's what I'm looking for here. Um, but again, get, using the bolster between her legs um, will just help to keep that separation. Um, this ideally works with two people. Um, so we've been having um, Dad up here just helping to keep Alexis's hands on the ball and then I'm behind um, at her hips and her legs to help give her assistance to come up into standing and then back down into half kneeling. Um, so we have a bolster here that she's um, going to be straddling. Um, ball in front, and then um, I don't know if you can see behind, but there's a step behind us, and so the reason for that is because she has her braces on, just so that she's not on the floor with her foot um, kind of bent to the side. Um, also, this bolster is a little bit higher, just so that we're raising the floor up to her. So the best way we found to get Alexis um, in position is to start her um, in front of the bolster with her hands on the ball, and she can come up into standing. And then uh, I stabilize the standing, the leg that's gonna be in the front, which is in this case her right leg, and then I take her left leg, and then dad brings the ball back as I draw her leg back down into the step here. So this is the starting position that I want Alexis in. Um, from here, I'll kind of come and just um, be, have my legs um, straddling her back leg, just so that she doesn't kind of tip one way or the other. I can manage um, her body a little bit better. From here, I have my um, her right, um, leg, my hand is right in the front of um, um, of her knee. So as she comes up to, into standing, I can give some compression in through her hip to help lift her um, or bring her up um, more extended on that leg. And then um, my back hand is going to be on her hip, um, and that's just going to help to um, control a little bit of her um, helping into hip extension, so she's not pulling her leg all the way in. So um, we're doing five of these in a row. So are you ready, Alexis? Here we go. So dad's going to rock the ball forward as she comes up. Good. So we go halfway and then we come back down. One. Go leaning forward onto her right foot. Good, Alexis. Two. Three. Nice. Go four. And then on the fifth one, I'd be having Alexis lift her leg up and then bring it all the way up over the bolster to sit down. So and um, I want her to work on that so that as she stands up, she has to really pick her leg up. Um, and then especially thinking on the right side, since it's a little shortened, as she comes up, she has to really lengthen through that weight-bearing side. So we've been doing five of these, um, two times on each side. Um, again, this is the setup that we found worked really well for Alexis, but whatever equipment you have available at the school um, or wherever else she's getting therapy, um, you can certainly use. Um, we just find having a ball in front gives her a little bit more motion so that she's gonna get momentum forward.